Hey darlings, welcome back to my channel. Now it's time to come along with me as I get ready for one of my most perfect days at Disneyland. I'm going to start this tutorial off using some Carmex on my lips to make sure they don't get crusty, as well as some Fix Plus by MAC all over my face just to make sure my makeup applies evenly. Next up I'm going to be using a primer on my lid and I'm actually going to be using Wet n Wild's Comfort Zone Palette for this entire tutorial. Now today I'm going to be making what I call princess eyes and how I do this is I'm using the middle shade of my crease just to bring more definition as well as a pencil brush and the darkest shade to elongate my eyes so that they look more wide awake. After that I'm going to be using it's like a smoky blending brush just to make sure there's a little more definition and then I'm going to be using the lightest two shades on the lids but they don't really need to be too intense because I'm going to be going over that with NYX's roll on shimmer and salmon salmon whatever one of those two and I'm going to be wetting my brush with some Fix Plus and activating that, if you will, just so it's a little bit more sparkly. Next up, it is time to move on to foundation. For today, I am using Makeup Forever's Ultra HD Foundation in, well, I think it's 178. Just to make sure that I don't have a cake face, but I do have a flawless finish. After this, I'm going to be going underneath my eyes with the concealer just to make sure that I look wide awake as possible. I have hit pan, but I am making sure to use my Translucent Crystal Setting Powder by NARS just to set in all my makeup so that I don't have to do any reapplying. Next up, I'm going to have to figure out one day what the name of this contour shade is, but it is an eyeshadow by Clinique that I'm using to contour my cheeks as well as my forehead. Moving right along, I'm going to be using my Dip Brow Pomade in Ebony by Anastasia Beverly Hills just to make sure my brows stand out a little bit more in pictures. They're a little bit darker than I usually do, but that's kind of what I'm going for this fall. I like it. We'll go with it. Next up, it's time to move right along to liquid liner. I am making sure to do a really nice wing liner, not overdoing it, but I do want to make sure that my eyes pop out a little bit more in pictures, and they did. So the next to last step of princess eyes is making sure that you highlight your brows and have something coming forward. So I'm using that champagne color in my comfort zone palette just to finish that off. And I'm going three fourths of the way underneath my eye just to make sure that they look a little bit smoky. There's definition, but they also not completing the entire underneath my eye makes them look more wide awake. I'm going to be finishing my eyes off using Benefit's Roller Lash, and this is just in black, just so I have a little bit more definition to my lashes. And what is a princess without her highlighter? Today I'm going to be using Urban Decay's Naked Illuminated Highlighter in the color Lit. It is gorgeous because it's my skin tone, but it just makes me look like I've been dusted with fairy dust. After that, it is time to move on to the lips. Now, I'm using a brown liner all over my lips, but this is just to smudge it in because on top of that, I'm going to be using NYX's Intense Butter Gloss in the color Apple Crisp, and it tends to hold on a little bit better whenever I put an eyeliner, or excuse me, a lip liner underneath it. And that is it. I wanted to wear my mini ears, but I had my little bandana on, and that didn't want to mess up my outfit, so I'll put those on later. My day at Disney was so amazing. I almost lost my mind whenever I saw a mini coming down the street and when Mickey pointed and waved at me, it, I almost dropped my camera. It was a wonderful day. And the best part about Disney was the night was actually even better. I did change my clothes and I just changed them in the bathroom that was there, freshened up a little bit and put a little bit more lipstick on. And then my husband and I had dinner at Cafe Orleans down in Orleans Square. We did have non-alcoholic mint juleps as well as the most delicious dinner I have ever had in my life. And we finished everything off with the pumpkin beignets and there was like a, a, a vanilla creme anglaise to go with it. It was an amazing night. Um, so yeah, this is the point where you are definitely, if you have not done it already, you're going to want to make sure to subscribe so you can stay tuned for the next few Disney videos that I have coming up. Hope you guys enjoyed. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.